Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I sell all of the products that I share with you. Today I'm here with the Creating Kindness design team and this month our um, hop feature is ink refills. So for today's project I have chosen the brand new Nature's Beauty stamp set from the Holiday Catalog and I'm going to be um, using this Fox image. And this stamp set is the Make a Difference stamp set for Stampin' Up! In Canada, $4 from the sale of every single stamp set is going to go to mental health organizations. So let's get started. I have already stamped my Fox in my Jet Black Stays On. Um, because it takes a little while to dry before you can start to uh, watercolor with it. And I've stamped this on um, shimmery white cardstock. So I'm now going to bring in my uh, shimmery white cardstock, my large piece. All of the measurements will be on my blog. Uh, click on the description below. So I am taking a clear block and an ink refill and I'm just going I've got pool party crumb cake and pumpkin pie for my fox so I'm just going to take a couple drops for my background and I like to I have my aqua painter I like to squeeze to get some water coming out and I like to put some water down first. That way my ink, I'm going to get better movement from my ink. Now I don't know if you can see that I've got just like a wash on here with the water and now I'm going to take my block and I'm going to drop one, two drops of water in with that, move it around, and then come and just move that however you want. There's no right way or want wrong way when you're doing just a wash. I just want to make sure that I'm going to have a large enough section to show behind my fox. So I'm just wiping off, just squeezing, wiping until there's no more water and then I can take the end of my paper towel and just touch to absor absorb some of that excess. Help that dry a little bit quicker. All right, so now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna bring in, oh, I see there's a bit more water right here, so. I'm just going to Absorb that up. That way it will dry a little bit quicker. Okay, so I'm moving that one aside. Now we want to put one drop of my pumpkin pie and one drop of my crumb cake for the ground. Just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, so add a bit of water. Oh. But first, so that my, wa my ink moves, I need to 
just paint a bit of this water. on my fox where I'm going to be going with my ink. So then I'm going to pick up so that I can see. Okay. Now we don't want too much because we don't want to run outside the lines. So now we're just going to come and with re-inkers, ink refills, however you want to say, you can come in and layer your colors, get a deeper color. You just have to wait for it to dry in between each addition. making his legs a little darker. And for something like this, you need to make sure that your aqua painter, your paintbrush, whatever tool you're using is um, got a nice tip to it. If it's frayed and an older brush, it's going to um, be much harder to do a nice job with your coloring. And I want to leave just a little white spot there for my fox's chest. And I'm not squeezing any more. I don't want any more water on here. Because then I'm going to get bleeding. Being careful to avoid his eyes. I had to Google what a fox looked like so that I knew the general shading. Although we have foxes here, we our home backs onto conservation area and in the spring we can hear them and the, the kits, their little babies yipping, but um, you don't generally see them, so. I wasn't sure exactly the coloring. Okay, now I want to come back in here and add a bit of darker where the shading would be. When you are coloring with ink refills, you tend to have a bit more control over your tones because of the fact that you can layer those colors. Let's just bring a little bit more here to that top of that tail. Now to follow along, please click on the description below the links for the other members that are doing a video will be in there. 
Um, and please uh, visit my blog to see all of the um, team members follow along. Not everybody does a video each month depending on time constraints. So now I'm taking that tiny bit of my crumb cake and I'm just going to color this ground. And get as close to that tail without coloring. You don't want a brown tail. Bringing it out. And actually, I'm going to bring that up just a bit. Okay, and now I'm going to turn and add a bit of water here. Bring my pool party back in and just add a bit of blue around. There. Okay, give that a moment to dry while I start to move this out of the way. I don't want to get any of that on my card. And I'm going to. I'm going to fold and burnish my edges and bring in some of my liquid glue. Okay, and then even though this is not quite dry, it's okay for today for time constraints. I know you don't want to spend all day watching one video, so we're just going to adjust and I'm going to take my paper towel to press down. I don't want to get ink all over my hands. Okay. Now I'm going to take some um, ribbon and bring in my paper or my ribbon, my ribbon scissors. I have a dedicated pair. So, and I like to leave my ribbon on the spool. I just want to figure out how much I'm going to need. I don't like to waste. Okay. And I'm just going to come in with my heat tool just for a moment, just to... take a bit of snail adhesive and because I there and when you're putting it on your craft 
your silicone mat, you can easily adjust because that is crooked. That is upside down. I've put the tape, okay, so that way. Fox's head is here. There, one, two, and three. Just adds that little bit of added interest, I find. Then I can just snip, bring in a few dimensionals, One in the center. And five. Okay. So then we're going to just Stick him on here like that. And with not putting a sentiment on here, I then find that I can use this card for anything that I might need. So we're just gonna grab a couple of sequins here. Let's go one. And this is from the Woven Threads, a sequin assortment, and I'm picking out the light colored ones. One, two, three, and let's do, I don't want that white one. Four and five. Okay, so I just need to put Some glue here. Glue here. And and then just two more and then we're done. Okay, so here is my card. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember, if you live in Canada and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. Please visit my blog, www.stampinwithmarcy.com to see everybody's um, projects to follow along with our hop. Click on the description below to see what the other team members that have created a video have uh, created for this month's uh, ink refill blog hop. Thanks again. See you later.